Let's talk about the big lie. The big lie was that if you got everything, and I got the vaccine, vaccine, I did everything that they told me to do. Got it, and I still got it, and there's a lot of other people that got it. So there's a lot of people, and I've even seen people on, on TV today saying that they did everything that people told them to do, and they still got, got the virus. So that was the big lie all along, telling people that if they did everything that they said, that they wouldn't uh, get the virus. But the truth is that it would mitigate it, that it wouldn't be as dangerous but they never told the American public that, Kaylee. I think, Kate, I think we're having some problems with Kaylee's audio. Doctor, I'll let you pick up on that. Oh, no, no. I mean, you're absolutely correct. And, you know, I'm, I just, I'm happy to hear you say it, Lawrence. And I hope more Americans realize it. You know, the, 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 the vaccine passports, you know, this requirement to, to get tested, to go to school or to get on a plane. I mean, it's just ridiculous. This, this idea that, you know, that you could stop this with vaccines was unrealistic. And, but the, the policies are based on the idea that you can stop this with a vi with a, with uh, with vaccines and and mass testing and things like that. So there's a mismatch between the policies and reality. And you know more people need to wake up to that. I think and stop participating in this really dystopian view of public health. Yeah, it's totally unhealthy. It's unhealthy. I mean, it, it's unhealthy. It's divisive. It's political. It's unpleasant. Um, I understand why people are coming to Florida. Yeah. And that's why you're doing a good job leading. Kayla